So good morning and uh, good afternoon to those of you that are joining us uh, from Europe and other parts of the world. Appreciate your participation this morning. My name is Chad Eiler. I'm the Vice President of Products at IBML. And I'm going to be joined today by Andrew Lyons, Software Product Manager, and Peter Caprell, our Raptor Product Manager. And we've got some exciting topics that we uh, wanted to bring you guys up to speed on today. Um, the first thing that we're going to go through are net new features that we're launching in our IBML Capture Suite version 5.3. This version of software has just been released. And uh, Andrew's going to step us through some of the high level features and some of the uh, net new value propositions that we have as part of the uh, this release cycle, and we think you're going to be uh, pleased to see, because quite often the enhancements that we create are from customers just like you. You know, so we're always uh, listening very closely to what our customer base is asking for, um, and as as uh, heavy and uh, high volume users as most of you are. You know, we know that these can have big impacts on your business. And so we are happy to uh, announce quite a few of these to you today. And we're also going to take just a few minutes at the end. If you can just be patient and hang on. Um, we want to tell you a little bit about the IBML uh, new scanning product uh, that's now part of our portfolio. And so some of you might have heard about the acquisition that IBML recently made. So we're going to talk about that and how that uh, could potentially help your business and allow you to uh, process things in maybe a little bit different way than what you're accustomed to with IBML scanning solutions. All right, so from a software perspective, um, just, a, just a quick overview of IBML Capture Suite and its, its ability to offer critical capture solutions on one single platform. So Capture Suite, obviously drives all the IBML scanners um, from, a, from a scanning perspective. And uh, most of you are all used to using that product. And while it's incredibly important to the image track and the fusion and the DS uh, scanning solutions, we also have software add-ons that can be included after the scanning process that allow our customers to extend Capture Suite's capabilities. And so not only do we capture uh, uh, paper from an input standpoint at scan time, we're also able to onboard emails and faxes and other digital uh, sources of information to bring it into the Capture Suite workflow to simplify your processing needs. From there, we can apply our same level of intelligent recognition products that we have during scan time, and you can do that after the scanning process. So if these are digital born types of, uh, of content that you wanna apply recognition capabilities to, we offer those as add-on modules in the Capture Suite platform. You can do classification, different levels of extraction. And then from that process, you can uh, execute quality control measures um, or corrective action in our validation module. So again, just extensions to that workflow that allow you to correct and purify that data that you captured either during scan time or during the ingestion process. From there, we also offer uh, connections to a wide variety of different types of platforms. We've got uh, various different ECM connectors uh, and a handful of different uh, uh, productized connectors that uh, plug right into other capture systems or other uh, business workflow systems. And so we wanna make that interaction point as uh, simple as possible for our different users, 25 years of experience handshaking with these types of systems. And so just a variety of different use cases there to be able to take that information that you captured either during scan time or after scan time, get the most value out of it and be able to move it into the process as efficiently as possible. And then we have an overall uh, analytic module that allows you to monitor both your scanning system um, along with the software processing capabilities, uh, just to give you an in-depth look real time uh, into how that system is operating. So our hope is to make your capture uh, not only easy, but also affordable. So by having Capture Suite extended 
into different uh, types of lines of business, we feel like it's a, it's a great opportunity for our users to streamline platforms and to perhaps move lines of business from a very expensive capture platform where you're paying by the click and you're constantly uh, having to monitor your usage over into our capture suite platform where we scale it much differently. We want to uh, allow you to be able to leverage the Capture Suite platform in conjunction with your Fusion systems or Image Track systems, DS, um, and be able to not worry about the volumes. We have taken the approach that investing in the in the best scanning technologies for these high volume sites, we want to reward you with a software platform that doesn't uh, charge you by the click. So we'd love to uh, spend more time with you if you have questions about Capture Suite's capabilities after scan time. Um, on this slide here, you can just see a little bit more of the uh, value propositions that we offer from the uh, uh, experience, um, from an ease of use perspective, the same platform you're accustomed to from an administrative and user perspective, um, the speed and accuracy that we offer from the scanning platform integrated into the software. And of course, that leads to uh, better ROIs. So those are all our unique value propositions for Capture Suite. And so from here, I'm going to uh, hand the baton over to Andrew Lyons, and he's going to walk us through the feature set. Um, I will be uh, monitoring the, uh, the Q&A uh, dialogue in your Zoom application. So feel free to chat those questions into us. Um, when we have a break, I'll be able to uh, insert the question into Andrew's presentation and we can get you some immediate answers. If there's things we can't answer, we'll certainly follow up uh, with you uh, after the uh, webinar. So uh, don't be shy about asking questions. We want to be able to provide as much uh, information as we can during this session. So Andrew, I'll turn it over to you. Okay, thank you. And uh, you know, as Chad mentioned, good afternoon, good morning to those uh, where you are in the world today. And as you might be listening to this recording, uh, feel, feel free to ask questions and we'll, we'll get those answered. Uh, my name is Andrew Lyons. I've been with the company a number of years, so have a lot of experience and have met a lot of you on the call today. If I haven't met you, I look forward to future introductions. Chad gave a great overview of what Capture Suite is and its capabilities. We're going to jump in and be a little more focused in the feature set that we're delivering for this release cycle. And hopefully it'll spawn some ideas of how you could further use Capture Suite, maybe in a way that you aren't today. Uh, so always, you know, get with your account executive as you have questions and want to see demos. Well, the first feature that we want to talk about is one we're really excited about. In PostScan, the, the application we use after scan to do image processing, we've added two new features to our current workflow. So as Chad mentioned, went through the input, we have a feature that's been a long time uh, capability in Capture Suite is image filtering. So if you wanted to look for color images or black and white images to affect the output that you provide to your customer, you've been able to do that for a long time. What we've added in this release is the ability to review that output in quality control client before it goes to the output and then reporting capabilities from the information that is decided to be included in the output. So for billing purposes and just internal auditing, you know what is a part of the output on different days, batches, and even transaction level. So we're gonna step through these. I wanted to give a quick overview. Along with the support of quality control and client reporting, we've had to obviously make changes to our setup application to support it, as well as administration console to be able to, to view and support this as well. So we'll go through this in detail and I'll actually jump into the software and show a live demo of this in action. So we'll start with the quality control client. This is the part that the scan operators will view. If you, if you have quality control today and you wanna add this feature, it's a pretty simple process to do that. If you notice in the green boxes that are drawn on the screen, we've added some new information to the image windows inside of quality control. This will help you better determine what the compression type is 
you know, color, grayscale, black and white, and also the DPI. So you know if it's a 300 or 400 DPI image, uh, so you can better determine which image you need to select for your output. You'll also notice the green diagonal lines behind the image. This signifies this image will be used in your output. You also have some toggle buttons to quickly change this if you decide, you know, a, a color image would be better to key from for the specific document, or I, this is not enough color to really determine or needed for an output. So I'm going to change this to black and white. You'll have the autonomy to do that at an operator level. So how do you get to this point is where we're going to, we're going to go to the reporting and then we'll show some of the setup. So inside of your reporting, your client reports, you now have the ability to actually see the output for the day, the batch, and you can even drill down to a transaction level to see the specific output count of images, both color, grayscale, black and white, and then a total output. And if you have multiple outputs, it will show those here as well. So this is all about knowing what's in the output and how to make sure that it's accurate before you send it to a multi-page file. So Andrew, if a customer was um, previously using color filtering um, in PostScan, but they don't have the QC module today, what is their uh, next logical step if they wanna take advantage of that? Yeah, so if you're a PostScan customer and you're using filtering like Chad mentioned, and you want to start reviewing this in quality control, you simply can get with your account executive and buy a couple licenses of QC. They're, they're fairly inexpensive. You can buy a single license or um, five licenses at a time and they're concurrent licensing. So, you know, for a few thousand dollars, you can be up and running with this new feature and be able to support it on multiple uh, PCs. And it's just a license file. We can send you the software and the license file, and uh, you can be ready to go, you know, literally in, in hours. Along with the, the QC, the quality control client, and the reporting, you have to be able to configure this. So we've added a new tab in your document filtering, which we'll look at in just a minute, called overrides. So we have the color detect. You'll see the, the second tab to the left. It's been there for a long time. But we've added overrides. So in this case, if you had a barcode document that might signify a color or a black and white, then you could use this to say, hey, for the remaining items or for this item, you know, there's a lot of different options here and flexibility to meet a broad uh, variety of different configurations that might be required. And we will look at this one more specifically when I jump into the software. Along with this feature, we have new keywords. So at the image file name level, you can actually include the count of images in the file name. So if you had a batch name as a keyword and then hyphen file name or, or output image count file total, then you would have the batch name hyphen, and then there would be a number there that would signify the amount of images that are in that multi-page file. Along with that, you can include the amount of images that are in a folder. So if the folder was the batch name and each transaction was a separate PDF, for instance, then you could use the folder. Uh, you could put the count of total files in that folder name. It just really gives and more administration uh, by looking at things without having to opening them, open them to see total counts. To just make it easier on our customers to be able to see that information at a higher level quicker without having to drill down into things. We also added new keywords in Connector Setup, our configurable data output. So if you want to create an output file that goes with a multi-page TIFF, PDF, or even single page files, copy and move, You'd be able to do that using new keywords for batch total, transaction total, and document total. So you have these new counts that you can output in a file. So it gives our customers you more control without having that custom development to be able to get to the output that you need specifically for your customers and your internal customers. 
So Andrew, maybe just expand a little bit uh, more on uh, the connector setup. I, I touched on it briefly uh, when we introed the Capture Suite workflow, but maybe just uh, expand for the audience a little bit more in case they're not using this today. Uh, what is it and uh, you know how it, how is it procured? Yeah, sure. So we know that we're only one piece of this puzzle. You, you've got to do your, your immediate capture, upfront capture and collect as much data, purify the data as you can, but we're, we're typically going to hand that off to another system unless you're doing a searchable PDF output. So for the majority of our customers, we're feeding into another system and they're going to want some kind of database uh, injection or they're going to want some flat file or XML file, just a number of different opportunities to be able to interact with these other third-party systems. Well, our configurable data output is a module that you can purchase that allows you to create these custom outputs and these custom flat files to interject into your system. So previously, you would have had to use custom development. Next year's changes come along, more custom development. If you have, we, we create an interface that's a point and click uh, type setup, allow stored procedures and advanced actions as well, if you have that uh, expertise. But it allows a customer to be able to be control of their own destiny without having to wait or, or, or create new custom development. They can do this themselves. They can create their own outputs. They can modify them and create their own keywords, just, just as they would creating a scan job. Uh, so for those customers that have that in-house expertise and want to control it, we provide this module to them as a way of doing that. And Great, thanks, Andrew. It's a separate purchase that you can add on at any time. And the good thing about Capture Suite, adding on these modules is a, is a quick turnaround. You know, you, you purchase the item, we send a license file. Typically, you already have the installation. You just need to modify it and add the configurable data output to the install. So, Andrew, another question uh, related to uh, quality control. So, we've got a question <clears throat> that we were asked when utilizing a quality control feature, does that stop the batch from further transmitting into our processing system? So it's kind of in the same vein as this connector setup. <clears throat> yeah, so if you're using quality control, you have the option to send percentage of batches to quality control or all of them if you're doing a 100% QC is what we call that. Yes, this, this would be a manual step in the process for a operator to verify whatever rules you set up in quality control. What we've talked about here is your filtering output. If you wanted to review that, for example, then you would set that up as a stop point for an operator to interject. Now this wouldn't be on the Fusion scanner. This would be on an offline low cost PC that would connect to the database and they would quickly review the images and send the batch onto the next process. So things happen in sequence, you scan, usually do some blank page removal or auto orient. Then you would do quality control, whatever process you have set up. And then it would go to an output and a configurable in a flat file output um, sequentially. Yeah, excellent, thanks. And the, the last change with this specific feature set is administration console. We've added a new column that gives you the output image count as well from a batch administration standpoint. So you, you wouldn't typically use this for reporting or auditing purposes, but from a high level, you can have a quick insight into what's going on in your workflow. And at this point, I'm gonna jump out and go into Capture Suite and just show a batch in quality control and some of the options that we have here. So this is our quality control client. Um, if you don't have it, it's a it's a live tile type application. So as batches are available in quality control or validation, it will update this. And as they're taken, they will reduce. So at a high level, you can see what's available also. So inside of validation, you'll notice <clears throat> a, a few things that I talked about. You have the DPI and the format, and you're looking at I'm looking at all the images. This is completely configurable. If you wanna just look at the ones that are designated for output or look at all of them, and you have the ability to quickly switch which images you want to see. 
Well, the first thing that you'll notice with this one is it's got color on it, but it's as it actually designated as a black and white image. Well, I'm using color filtering, so why is that? If you look at my specific setup for my output, and I'll go into my searchable PDF, and I'll choose filtering. I have the color detect, which I have configured here, but what I'm doing is overriding that color detect. And what I'm saying is envelopes, I always want to be black and white. For this example, this might not be your case, but for this example, I want envelopes always to be black and white because there's nothing on it color related that I need. So as an example, I've just said for envelopes, only this item, I wanna capture all the cameras, but I don't want the black and white. And really you might just say, I only want the front because maybe the rear doesn't have anything in it. But for this case, I did all cameras just black and white. So I'm overriding what was determined by my color detect. And if I wanna change that, I can. You can select the item. You can quickly say, hey, for the front camera, control alt F, you have keyboard shortcuts. I wanna switch that front because I know it's got color on it to be a color output. You, you have the ability to change that. And then change it back. So if we look down as we go through another couple examples, so that example is showing you the override. Well, now I've got an item that's color on the front and the rear. So that one's obviously color for both. I'll go down to the next one. This one obviously is color for both. This one is all black and white. This one has enough color on it to be called color on the front and black and white on the rear. So the color detect can determine that separately based on the camera. So you'll notice whatever image is green in background is gonna be the one that we've determined is selected for your final output. You also have in the bottom, the total output images. So if I was to maybe include this one, you can include both the color and the front. Now you can see that number increased. So we have the ability to not only uh, output, you can change and output multiple images per item. So that's a quick view of the QC operator world and how they would interact with this feature. There is some setup and quality control to go along with this, and then you got the filtering. Uh, but overall, it's a fairly simple feature to configure, and we can help you with that when the time is ready for you. If you're already a customer with quality control and PostScan and you upgrade to this version, you'll have these new features available to you at that time. All right. Moving on to our next feature, it's we have added something for Fodgy, but before I jump into that specific feature, I wanna take just a quick minute to introduce what Fodgy is for those customers that are joining us today and aren't aware of that. So domestically in the US, we have a federal agency guideline to verify image quality for those customers, government customers specifically, that want to digitize paper and get rid of the actual paper. So to do that, there's this verification process that we have integrated with Capture Suite to certify the scanning equipment meets the standard that is predetermined. And this is just a quick introduction to what Scan Client and Quality Control offers inside of Capture Suite. So there's a third party software that does this voting, this verification process called Golden Thread. And we have a, um, a special integration with this software from our scan client. So you might see other uh, vendors offer this capability, but it might be a very disconnected system where you got to scan in this platform, open up this application, do this testing, save these results out with Capture Suite you can enable this for your scanning job and have the ability to integrate it completely within Capture Suite. The operator only uses Capture Suite. They do the verification, they get the results back immediately, a pass or a fail gives them troubleshooting steps if it does fail. Um, our consistency with passing is unheard of. We're the fastest Fodgy compliance scanner in the world. Uh, we can 
promote that with confidence. Um, and we go head to head with anybody um, uh, that's out there that's that's willing to do that. We have a very high success rate passing with our customers. We've got two implementations successful already. So very reliable integration. The operator never leaves our software. And then in the background, we have all the auditing required to support this for future uh, your future auditing purposes. Uh, if you're a customer that um, is a current customer of Capture Suite and you want to add Fodgy, this is a, you can do an add-on module. It's not very expensive. That will give you this connectivity to the Golden Thread software. And just uh, to make sure the audience is clear, so our 5G compliant systems are the are the Fusion platform and the Fusion HD. So if you own a prior generation image track or a DS model, um, those systems are not 5G compliant. These uh, guidelines are <clears throat> are uh, are not easy to meet. It's our latest platform. Uh, is where we invested a significant amount of investment and uh, resources and technology to make sure we pass this consistently um, every time at the, Andrew mentioned, is the world's fastest speeds. So if you do have 5G requirements and you're not on a Fusion or Fusion HD platform, we'd love to talk to you about uh, upgrading your technology to uh, one of those that would give you the ability to to pass Fodgy and be able to capture uh, images at the new higher resolutions of 600 DPI as well. Yeah, thank you. And one other thing, you know, this is a U.S. standard, but internationally, both our U.K. and our German office have the ability to support this Fodgy certification as well. Internationally, this standard is growing and might, I'm sure it'll be called something else in the future for them. Uh, but this standard and the golden thread software and the interaction is becoming worldwide uh, need. So even if you're an, if you're a customer overseas and not domestic, um, know that this is coming and we do have an answer for that as well. And both our other offices support it. Now the feature that we added. So that was kind of a quick introduction, but we did add a new feature. There is third party scanners that are FAGI certified. We're working specifically with Fujitsu as a, as a great partner of ours, um, and they have a scanner, a flatbed scanner, and a, and a small um, desktop scanner, low volume type scenario and quality control if you're offline trying to do some repair or small batches. Great tool to use. Well, those scanners have different cameras and different implementations. They require a different profile for the Golden Thread software. So being able to support different scanners with different profiles, we've added the ability in our uh, in our software to be able to choose the scanner and choose a specific profile for that scanner. So if you're a third party if you're if you have third party scanners that are FOGI compliant, you can use Capture Suite to drive those scanners and have the same uh, intelligent. Uh, integration with the Golden Thread software. It doesn't have to be a disconnected system. You can simply buy Capture Suite to run on those scanners and be able to achieve the same type of integration that you would on a Fusion scanner. Obviously, you're going to miss out on the speed, uh, but you'll still have that integration there. Our next feature is handwriting recognition. Most of you know and have been a part of this industry for a long, for a number of years, handwriting has always been something we kind of stayed away from. You know, constrained handprint has been something some of these OC, traditional OCR engines have had some success with, but handwriting like you see on the screen here is, most customers would stay away from it because of, you know, the high cost, the manual correction required, it's just difficult and requires this difficult setup to be able to be successful. Well, with Capture Suite, we now have a solution for this that we are just very excited about and know that uh, you can take advantage of this because most organizations have handwriting have handwriting documents. It's just not something that you focus on because the supporting software to be able to do that has been few and far between. This is a, a, a simple feed a document, got a result, no tuning involved. We're able to just have, have, have high accuracy in 
just uh, OCRing this specific document. And this is just one of many. So you can just see, maybe not perfect in every sense, but we're at like 98% accuracy with this specific document. Well, as we talk about the capture suite integration on this next slide, there are several things that we wanna point out. One is you can use Capture Suite to do the verification. We're gonna send it off to a third party OCR engine that um, will give you back results into validation. So if you're a current customer and you have PostScan and you wanna use um, our validation software, you can do that with this new OCR engine that we're promoting. You get confidence levels back, so you can set your confidence that it has to be a certain percentage or it needs to go to a manual review. And you can set that confidence at like 80, 90%, where traditionally you wouldn't be able to. You can see that last bullet yields 30% plus higher accuracy than competitive products. So if you might've been looking at 50% accurate, you can, you can promote this 80% accuracy to a keying type scenario. So you're keying very little overall for a document that might have OCR or handwriting OCR. The other thing that we want to talk about is that we know that there's some great offerings in the cloud if you're in the cloud. So that is a, some uh, advantage. You might already be taking advantage of that through different products in the cloud. But uh, several of our customers still require on-prem for these types of OCR solutions. If you have an on-prem solution, we're not aware of anything that's going to be this high of accuracy and allow an on-prem installation. We offer cloud as well. But if on-prem is a requirement for you, this has been something that's really just been out of reach until now. So with Capture Suite, you can simply integrate this OCR engine and have validation be able to uh, verify those results based on accuracy. So if you're a customer, you, you more than likely have handwriting somewhere in your organization. And if there's any kind of need to OCR index this data, you know, talk to us, get with your account executive. We'd love the opportunity to um, provide a demo, um, look at your items specifically and talk about the accuracy rates and then talk about a return on investment that could be made from this. So Andrew, maybe um, uh, answer the question of, of is this something you can do at scan time or does it have to be done during post scan? Yeah, this is a post scan feature. While we do offer some OCR uh, in line, um, up to 10 fields is what we offer in line. This would be a post scan because of the, it does take time. Uh, now it, it, we do have one of the fastest engines in the world, but there's still, you can't do it in, you know, hundred milliseconds. It's going to take, uh, significant more time to do the OCR. It'd be more like a traditional OCR engine would be than an inline. So this would be done offline from scanning, but it would fit into the capture suite workflow. Thank you. <clears throat> okay, and then as we look at auto import, We've added a few improvements here. One is we can now import compressed zip files. So if 7-zip uh, RAR or zip files, we can unzip those and add those images, those documents to our Capture Suite workflow. So we support this compression type files now. We off, Along with that, we added the ability for unsupported file types. So if you have a customer maybe that has a corrupt file or a locked file, then previously this could halt the auto import uh, process until that was resolved. Now we remove that item and put it in an archived folder so you can continue processing. So it speeds up um, the overall processing when an unsupported file is, uh, is found. The rest of these features, as we go through them, it might go kind of quickly, feel free, we can go back. These are more general improvements to help administration and to help our customers implementation and supportability. So lockbox for domestic customers in the US, um, Canada, we have, uh, we process a lot of payments for financial services. 
So if you imagine a utility bill with a payment, this is still a huge business domestically. And as the iTrans world and those scanners are um, end of life, your, our customers need an opportunity to process that same work. So being able to use a, uh, a, a full page scanning device to capture coupons and checks is a unique proposition for our customers to be able to add that functionality. So if you're a current customer and you have iTrans that are end of life, Capture Suite has a solution for you with your current platform. So, you know, IT6, IT5 in, in the fusion capability, we can add this capability to you uh, to give you instant opportunity to be able to do this lockbox administration. Well, with this release, we just added a, a simple feature to make it easier for those customers' administration. If you're a if you're a lockbox customer, you know you might have hundreds of different customers you cater to. So being able to create a new customer uh, needs to be a quick process. So we've just given you the ability to do that uh, more easily and be able to copy regions inside of a lockbox, we've made that much easier too. So just to quickly add new customers is the feature that we've added here. I know we're getting close to time, um, so I'm gonna speed up just a little bit. Registration ultrasonic recovery. We've had this capability, but previously we just showed you the front camera. Now we show both the front and the rear camera. In case you had a sticky note or a sticker on the rear, you can determine without having to go get the paper out of the pocket if it's a legitimate double feed or not. This is using our registration ultrasonic recovery mode. For those customers that have motorized pockets, We've given you the ability to lower the pockets at dinner, different intervals now. So one was closed batch, and then we've just added on track stops. If you have an error or a jam or the feeder empties, it'll now automatically lower the pockets and make it easier for operators to remove those items from the pocket. This does not affect your performance. So if you think, well, if I lower all the pockets and I go to hit feed, I got to wait for the pocket to come up. All that happens in real time without affecting throughput. So um, Use it knowing that throughput will not be affected. It'll just make it easier for the operators to remove those items. Scan callouts. We now have the ability, if you're using scan callouts, you have the ability to not only set the document type, which we've had previously, but then use that document type for alerts or other different types of processing rules inside of job setup. So it just makes the callouts more flexible. And for those that don't know, the callout is a way to interject custom code in both scan, quality control, and validation. So you can jump out of the software at certain intervals, create, you know, reference C sharp code, and then come back in, and you can have processing happen uh, real time. We've given you the ability to edit multiple jobs. In the past, we've just added a new few features here for Inkjet job group, scan client columns, and target data connection from the edit job, edit multiple job dialogue. For those customers doing supportability, you can now view log file from the, uh, from administration console on the client and dispatch. If you want to see the log files previously, you'd have to go to the PC and remote into it and see, go to the C drive and find the log file. Now, wherever you are, with administration console, you can view that log file. It makes portability much easier. And then setting the log levels. If you're if you're trying to troubleshoot an issue, you can increase the log level. Previously, you had to do it through an INI file, so you have to find that. Difficult to remember you did it. Now you can set the log levels and then reset those because you don't want to leave production running in that mode. So it just makes it easier to support. And then generally speaking, we've added some more features. I'll just quickly go through these. We have store procedure support through quality control and validation. Previously, we just had it in scan. Now we've given you the ability to call store procedures from quality control and validation. For those customers using remote document scanning, so if you're a customer that is scanning across a wide area network or to the cloud, we have a new feature for remote document scanning that we're very proud of and, and is becoming more widely used every day. We've added a feature for daily counters with different environments, very specific, but uh, needed. Baji customers, 
that are using our IQ Pro uh, software. We've added image sharpening for 400 dpi. And then we notify the operator if a camera is disabled from image server. Security wise, if you gather support data, we give you the option to exclude lookup data that might have PI personal information in it. We're also, <clears throat> excuse me, we're also certified with uh, the latest, uh, we call it OWASP, but Open Web Application Security Project code compliant. We use a third party company to verify our code. And this is the highest uh, security compliant you can be with our type of software. We're also certified now with SQL Server 2022, and we've upgraded our Docnetics document type engine to 4.4.0. Kind of went, quickly went through those last slides. That is the Capture Suite uh, portion of the webinar. So if there's any questions, Chad, if not, I'll hand this over to Peter. Uh, we do have one question that I wanted to <laughs> elaborate on. Um, for the audience, I've been answering a couple of other questions privately, but um, <clears throat> you did uh, pique some interest when you mentioned concurrent licensing when you were talking about the QC modules. Um, so we have a, a customer that's uh, using Capture Suite today and has uh, uh, different license files on, on a PC by PC basis. So maybe just expand where the concurrent licensing is applicable and where it's not. Yeah, so for quality control, validation, and uh, analytics, we offer concurrent licensing now. So what it allows you to do is multiple customers, um, if you had different shifts, you know, if, if you only, how many operators do you have using the software at a given time? So if you have multiple shifts, but only five operators will ever use QC at one time, then you would only need five licenses of QC, which previously we would ask you to have purchased 10. So as long as it doesn't exceed the amount of people that are logged in, you can now use concurrent licensing in that manner. Does that answer the question? Yeah, so, uh, but for like scan client, for example, if they're licensing scan client, that license file would, um, <clears throat> would still have to be licensed on a PC basis, right? Yes, validation, quality control, and analytics are the only applications we support concurrent licensing for right now. But we're very interested in um, easing any burdens that our customers may experience with licensing models. So if you have ideas and concepts that would uh, would enable your organization to better administer your license files, um, please just uh, uh, submit what we call a, a product idea request to our uh, support at ibml.com. Uh, send that over to that team and they will uh, forward those over to us and we can assess it, get in touch with you and uh, look into adding that to our roadmap. Yeah. And I see that question. The, the license file can be located on the network as long as every PC that's connecting to Capture Suite can see that license file. So yes, it can be centrally located. A lot of times it's done on a PC level, but it doesn't have to be that way. And, it, and it, certainly if you're using concurrent licensing, it can't be that way. It's got to be shared. Okay. Okay. Well, I will hand this over to Peter, who is going to talk about our new Raptor product. Take it away, Peter. Good morning. Good afternoon. Uh, first, let me introduce myself. I'm Peter Capral. I'm the hardware portfolio manager for the Raptor product family. Um, I was part of about 80 uh, employees that transferred from uh, what was formerly known as the Bank Tech Division of Excella Technologies to IBML. Uh, in June of this year, IBML acquired the Intelligence Scanning Group uh, from Excella Technologies. Uh, some of you may uh, remember the, the company known as Bank Tech. This was typically referred to in the industry as the Bank Tech Group. Um, and it includes the hardware development, the hardware manufacturing, and the hardware ma maintenance in the US and Canada. Uh, it does not include any of the uh, BPO service operations either within Bank Tech or as Excel as a whole. Um, IBML is a business partner um, with I, uh, with Excella and all of the uh, 
other uh, groups worldwide. So I'd like to talk a little bit about a new addition to the hardware portfolio of, of IBM L that came over with this acquisition known as the Raptor. Next slide. Here's a picture of a single pocket Raptor. Uh, this, this, go on. Next slide. You'll see here, There's a, this is a, a four pocket picture here. So in a nutshell, the Raptor is a uh, 240 page per minute scanner. It is a, I'll call it a desk size scanner. It's the size of a, of a, of a desk, but it, but it comes with its own desk. It doesn't sit on a desk. Uh, it, it is a adjustable height. It is an open track platform. So what are the, what are some of the use cases for this? This is for those operations that maybe you don't have enough volume to justify a fusion, or maybe you have only enough volume to justify one fusion, but you like to have multiple devices. Well, this is the market segment that the Raptor plays in, right? You can, you know, put it on site. You can even move it from site to site. You'll notice it's on wheels. Um, and, you know, it provides you some of the capabilities, not all the capabilities of fusion, you know, fusion is, is the best in the world, uh, but it gives you all those core capabilities that you would expect in a scanning operations. Um, it, 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 it's rated at 240, as I mentioned, pages per minute at 200 and 300 DPI. Uh, it is going to be available with, uh, attached to capture suite operating in the capture suite environment in about Q1, Q2 of next year. Uh, we actually have it running today. Uh, we're doing internal uh, validation testing and all the capabilities, uh, but that's when we expect to have it available. You, along with um, Capture Suite, you will get the full range of document image identification and all the recognition and IQA and everything that Andrew just talked about on the back end. All of that will be available with the Raptor. Uh, one other use case I might want to men I'll mention is perhaps you need a DR capability or backup capability, and you and you would like to have the a fusion as your primary uh, piece of equipment. This could act as your backup or your DR capability, um, and might fit nicely. It, it's it's got a price point that uh, is very attractive for that particular purpose. Uh, certainly, if you have any interest, contact your your uh, sales representative, and they can they can work to get uh, get you a quote. And the last thing I'd like to mention is um, IBM L owns all the IP of this scanner. Uh, it is not a scanner that's purchased from a third party. This gives us a great deal of flexibility in terms of adding capabilities. Uh, one of the things IBM L is is in the product management group is is very. Uh, interested in is your is your ideas you know how do we make our products better what are the business uh problems that you need addressed that we're not addressing today um certainly uh for the fusion or image capture suite or the raptor we like to hear your ideas and, and finally i will mention that this is an industrial piece of equipment um it is designed to last a minimum of seven years um it just like uh the fusion and and all the other hardware products we we offer so that's in a nutshell. I, I, I try to give you a very, uh, just a taste of what's happen, uh, what's coming uh, for your consideration. Um, and Andrew, I'll toss it back to you for final Q&A and close out. Okay. Thanks, Peter. And I, and I will say just what a, what a great, you know, opportunity for IBM L when we acquired uh, the Excel group and the, the bank tech offering just, uh, just a great portfolio. I've had the opportunity to run on it lately as Peter mentioned, as we're working to get Capture Suite completely uh, supported on the device, it's just it's definitely things about it that we just love. So it, it's a great addition to our portfolio, and we look forward to being able to support our customers, not only with this product, but Capture Suite running on it as well. So you can have that continuity, continuity between devices and between platforms. So yeah, great opportunity for our customers to take advantage of this single uh platform now. So thank you for all the participation. We had some really good questions, but you know, as you go through this, maybe pass it out to other people that are interested. You'll get a recording um, emailed to you at the end of this presentation to the attendees, for those that could make it and those that couldn't. Bill, 
feel free to distribute that and let us know if you have other questions that come up. We're happy to answer. You guys are people that make our platform what it is today, and we need your feedback and, and very interested to be able to cater to your needs and deliver high value products uh, to you and to your customers. Thank you for your participation and have a good rest of the day.